box of Cliff Bars, mate. They come in big packets. What's your favourite Cliff Bar? Me, it's peanut butter flavour. 30 Cliff Bars a day. Could you eat 30? How many Cliff Bars have you fucking eaten? Losing the gains. Losing the gains, man. Losing the gains. Someone want to see a flex? Serious video, how to... Is a picture of Freely on the bike? Roll it on. So people say, how do... I've been watching you guys. I've been watching you for fucking seven years. I've been fucking watching you for seven years. And I've seen Freely go from 73 kilos down to 50. 51. 50.374 kilos. So what's the deal during order? How do you get your girlfriend, how do you get your wife, how do you get your sister, how do you get your mother, how do you get women on bikes? It's taken me a while to learn this one. One sentence. Make it fucking fun. Make it fucking fun. And when you make something fun, you take care of motivation. Most women want to slim up, tone up, tighten up, whatever. So cycling is the best, the fucking best weight loss tool, fitness tool, toning tool known to mankind. If you can physically ride a bike, obviously there's a lot of people out there with in wheelchairs, they can't physically ride a bike. I've got friends I know who do hand cycling. They don't have the ability to use their legs functionally, so they do the hand cycling, hand bikes, look it up. It's fucking incredible inspiration. So if you say, I can't ride a bike, but I've got legs that work, then that's just a fucking excuse. If you don't have legs, fair enough, hand bike, that's for you. Assuming you do have function of your legs, or even if you don't, you can still listen to this video because hand cycling is a fantastic exercise as well. So even if you're wheelchair watching this video, it will still apply. When you make something fucking fun, you take care of motivation. So if you understand women have a, a motivation to be slimmer, tighter, whatever, then get them on a bike. Help them identify that the bicycle is a tool for them. All right? Not a, a torture machine or whatever. It's a tool to help them with their weight loss and aesthetic goals. Popular at the moment, well not popular because they buy Facebook likes, Instagram likes, but that Kayla program where girls burn 200 calories doing some burpees and push-ups, maybe 200 calories, you know, maybe 200 calories. On a bike ride, I've burnt 14,000 calories in 24 hours once, 14,000 calories. So how many, 14,000 divided by 200, 70 days of training in one day, two months, two and a half months of training in one day, two and a half months of calorie burn in one day, fun ride. Cycling, nothing fucking comes close to cycling for weight loss, for fitness. Transport, you can go right around. In my book down below, Carve the Fuck Up, I talk about cycling tips, blah, blah, blah. This is a quick video. If you haven't got a copy of my book, I do recommend it. Sounds like a sales plug, but I've spent, I've poured fucking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time, experience, personal experience. You might read the book, I just not edited very well, but the tips, man, that's the fucking gold. It's not polished, wank, wank, wank tank. It's the fucking experience and the tips. That's where the gold is. That's where the fucking gold is. I walk my talk when it comes to health and fitness. The tips that work for me will work for you as well. Because I wasn't the fit guy at school. You know, I was the guy who had a girlfriend and I was frustrated. I'm like, trying to just, just fucking ride your bike. It's fucking good. <laughs> That's not how it works, man. you got to make it fun. So how did Freely go from not really liking cycling to like buying her own bicycle, top of the line giant, Durace, power meter, riding bike, learning rollers. How, how to do rollers? Just getting rollers, learning them in like a couple of minutes. What is the paradigm shift? The paradigm shift is she started to make it fun. So what I would do is when Freely go up a hill, go too fast, I'd pull her back and just say, just slow down, slow down. So then eventually, Freely learned how to ride up a hill without pain. All right? So you've got to learn how to do something without pain first. And then when you want to inflict pain yourself, then you can do it. If it's pain from the get-go, you're not going to like it. It's not the first time you have sex. If it's painful, you're not going to like it. But then over time, you, know, you might develop other interests there. But you know what I mean? So if you want to get something, want someone into something, it has to be fun, not painful. But get a sweat on, get a bit of breath going, that's good. Does that make sense? So you, got, you have to be creative with your girl and go, how can we make this fun? Screaming at them, yelling at them, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, I've done, been there, done that. It's, that's, guys might respond to that, but most women don't respond to that. Maybe as they get fitter or more evolved or whatever, yeah, but initially, no. Nah. Is you got to make it fun. You have to make it fun. So go really slow, keep it local, cruise up some hills, just have fun. Have fun and make sure they have gearing that is suitable. 
compact cranks, triple ring, whatever it takes, so you can got some cadence there, so it's not too hard. And get a power meter and just say, look, sweetie, sit around at one watt per kilo. And when they go, oh, one watt per kilo, this is too easy, okay? One and a half watts per kilo, oh, one and a half watts per kilo, okay, two watts per kilo, and then three, and then four, and then five watts per kilo, whatever. So then it becomes a little bit of a game. And compliment. If you see changes in someone, positive, compliment it. Highlight that. Say, wow, you're looking a bit more toned. Wow, you did really well at the hill today. Good work. Compliment. Don't be afraid to compliment. And then the bottom line tips. Make it fun. Make it easy to start with. Compliments. And that's how you get women enjoying bikes. But make sure they get a nice bike. And it was bike saddles. It's personal preference. Personal preference. But also a big tip for anyone with bike saddle is make sure you get out the saddle every couple of minutes. I talk about that in my book. Get out your saddle every couple of minutes. Get the blood flowing. And maybe get some cycling shorts with a bit of a padding in there. But you don't need the big bus driver seats. Just a small race skinny seat will be suffice. Maybe some ergonomic female design seats. But bike shorts are a good one to get with the padding. Not just like, you know, because it's friction, man. You get a bit of friction on there, it's not good. So bike shorts, a bit of moisturizer, keep the chafing down. But the main tip would be getting out the saddle every couple of minutes for a few seconds just to get the blood going stuff like that even though I'm sitting on a fitball here it says carb the fuck up by the way in case you're wondering when I'm sitting on a fitball I'm sort of moving around alright moving the feet so the, when you're on the bike don't just be locked in this isn't very comfortable get out out the saddle dance around things like that learn how to ride your bike out the saddle things like that watch my videos but that's the bottom line guys I could talk for fucking two hours in this one but in, in 10 to 15 seconds make it fun make it easy Make it enjoyable, make it fun, make it easy, make it enjoyable. Give compliments. And make sure the bike, the gears and that working properly, tires pumped up, comfortable clothing, cycling specific clothing. Done. Cycling is nothing, 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 nothing fucking comes close to how many calories you can burn in a year on a bicycle. It's fucking insane.